Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post four beauty related videos a week. That is on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday and they're all usually beauty related. And in this video, we are going to be testing out the new BH Cosmetics Avocado Palette. Now, if that's the kind of content you like, please subscribe down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. And let's just sit, dive straight into how I created this look. Okay, so the same as the Mimosa palette, this palette has a sleeve which looks lovely this again is the avocado toast it's a 16 pan eyeshadow palette and when you pull the sleeve off near enough exactly the same so it's quite a tight one there you go i love it it's called avocado toast oh, i just i love the green i love the silver on there and then this is the shade selection. Again, I'm so happy with the amounts of greens in there. And then like with the Mimosa, they had like a purple shade. Well, this has like a bluey shade, which I really love. Um, and it's very similar to the layout of the pink one. So I just want to do some swatches. So we're just going to start from the top. I kind of know what I'm going to do. And these shimmers are soft straight away, whereas the shimmers in the Mimosa felt like they had a layer but these don't, so you've got, which looks like a lovely highlight shade. Okay, you can barely see that, but that's like a peach colour. But look at this green, it's got like gold reflex in there. Let me see if I can get more of this pink shade. This pink shade was called Pink Salt. I think you might just need to build it up. It's a very skin-like colour for me. Then we've got the next row. They've looked pretty pigmented to me, to be fair. Oh. They've got like a yellowy gold reflected green here. I love that. And then let's swatch the third row. I must admit the yellow in the Mimosa palette was so good. I never used it, but when I swatched it, it swatched really nicely. So this is the next row. The yellow is not as pigmented as the one in the Mimosa palette. Let me try again. But it is more of a muted yellow. There we go. You just have to build them up really. And then let's swatch the bottom row. There's feels like there's more shimmers in this palette. Because the other palette had about four. This has got seven. So there's a couple more shimmers in here. We're going to do right down the bottom here. That aqua. And uh, what I love about this is each row I feel like you can get a look out of. Just like the Mimosa palette. So that's all the swatches. They swatch beautifully. Okay, the yellow and the peach colour, you're going to have to build them up. But I think they're meant to be more pastel-y colours anyway. And usually those colours you have to build up. But that is an insane colour layout. Okay, so I have the P. Louise base it on in 01, and I am going to take this yellow pastel shade called Over Easy all the way above my crease because I feel like that would be a nice shade for this one, Avo Toast, to blend into. So let's start off with that. I'm going to actually put it just below my brow bone as well. Already the P. Louise has creased. The yellow is a nice pastel yellow, I must admit. I'm going to bring it quite far down, like that. I feel like that was a really nice yellow. Then we're going to take a clean blending brush, and I'm going to say clean because a lot of mine need cleaning. So I'm going to take a Nanshi large blending brush, and I'm going to take that green shade, as mentioned, the paler one, called Avo Toast. And I'm going to put that just Oh, look at that. By the way, guys, is there any, like, curly hair girls that follow me? Because I had curly hair when I was a young child. And then it just, the curls kind of just left. But then I've kind of found a routine to really define my curls to the point where now when I wash and dry my hair, it goes like this. I don't actually have to put anything in it. No product. It's... I've actually defined the curls more so if anyone wants like a routine of what I've been doing to get it like this please let me know I feel like that might be like a different video for my channel 
must admit, I really love this green shade. I'm just going to go back in with the yellow over easy and just blend out the edges. Okay, I always get this kind of shadow here because there's like a dent, but I can't really do much about it. It's not like it's blended well, it's just a dent in my eyes. So if that annoys anyone, I'm sorry, but it is nicely blended. Okay. Just below that, I'm going to go in with the shade Ripe. have an MSQ one that looks like this. Okay, there is a helicopter hovering, so if you can hear that. I apologise, but I live in London where crime rate is high and helicopters is always about. It's going to keep blending. I must admit, there's not as much fallout in the pans compared to the Mimosa palette. It's quite good. I was dusting off quite a lot on the Mimosa palette. Alright, so I love all these greens, but I'm not sure whether to have like a brown shade on the outer corner. Um, and if I do, i probably go in with the shade Pit. But I'm really unsure. Okay, to help me decide, I actually do this off camera, but I usually like put the two shades together that I want to do. So this shade at the top is ripe the one that's the darker one in our crease and then i've put pit just below that to see if i blend them will they go muddy and they won't like they blended really nicely so i think i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna put no i know i'm gonna put pit in the outer corner and then blend it out with a bit of guac 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 guac, guac. i sound like a bloody duck now all right well let's just start so I'm going to start with Pit on the outer corner here, just a tiny bit, I don't need a lot. I'm going to do the same on the other eye because I want to get them to match. And if you know me, I'm not good at matching stuff. Then I'm going to go in with the duck shade. I'm going to call it duck shade because I'm not actually going to call it anything else. And I'm going to blend out the corners here. Do the same on this eye. It's a little bit patchy just in the crease here so I'm going to add a bit more and then with a clean brush I'm going to blend out the edge here. Obviously I'm going to clean up that edge after, that is why I do my eyes first. Then we're going to cut the crease and put a lid shade on and I want some of it bright again. I'm going to go in with green juice. Yeah. She's like a bluey toned green. And I'm going to try this without concealer and see if that is makes it work a little bit better. Like we did before, we're going to do one eye dry, which is my right eye. And one eye... Oh, wow. Okay, you can really use these dry. They're really crumbly, just like the Mimosa palette. Not as bad crumbly though. I feel like the formula in this palette is a little bit better. Look at that. Now I'm going to use some charcoal primer water from Primark. Because I keep using my strawberry one but I like that. So I wanted to use that. I've got like two of them that I never really use. So yeah, let's go in wet and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I don't think these shades perform really well wet. Oh, okay. Nope. That is really nice. You just really have to dig in there. Okay, they've performed really well on the eyes, wet and dry to be fair, I must admit. Now I'm going to go back in with guac because you can only kind of see the brown and I'm going to diffuse the corners a bit better. Guys, I'm in love. And I'm going to use for my base, because I'm just about to start my base, my favourite combo at the minute, which is the MUA Pro Base Primer Oil with F8 in Conceal and Define. And then I might choose a different concealer than I did with the Mimosa palette. For concealer, I'm going to use the Conceal and Hydrate in C4. I haven't used this in a very long time, I must admit. But I do love this concealer. I think hydrating, I love. And then I'm just going to use my Revolution Pro CC Cream. Uh, powder and then we'll use more BH palettes. I'm telling you, I absolutely love the palette. So that concealer was a bit more lighter than I like. However, we're just going to go into the Belgium Waffle palette and I think the perfect shade for me 
is Bat Art, so I'm going to use that one again. Then we're going to go into Bellini and take a piece of cake down here. And then again back into the waffle palette and I'm going to take syrup. We took powdered sugar in the last time which is this shade here. Which literally is like a glazed donut. So we're going to take syrup this time. Which is a bit more gold. It's definitely a more me shade. Okay so we're going to finish up the eyes which I'm loving by the way. And we're going to take guac in the outer corner. And then we're going to take avo toast in the inner corner. And for the inner corner I'm going in with this shade here called avocado which whoo, that looks like that would be a lovely highlight shade I've put it there I don't know if you can see it I'm going to put that on the inner corner and the brow bone and then the eyes are basically complete do you know what I need to put this in my waterline this is the high vis liner by Barry M in strobe light I'm going to complete my lips and eyebrows and then we're going to come back with our final thoughts okay everyone what do you think of the look? I absolutely love it. Sorry, my eye keeps watering a little bit. The green, I feel like greens really do bring out brown eyes and I really love green eyeshadow on my, pa on my, on me. So yeah, let's get into the review part of this video. So this palette retails for 20, 21? <laughs> £12.50s. It's originally £15, but it was on sale. So like I said in the Mimosa palette, video I would recommend waiting for these palettes to go on offer now the color story is amazing I absolutely love it I love that they've got some dark shimmers over here you've got some light shimmers in there you've got some aquamarine turquoise colors really absolute love the fact that there is some aqua colors in there this palette kind of worked a bit better than the pink palette I must admit and the pink palette I didn't mention but it did stain my arm and stained my eyelids a bit but this palette is insane, like, I just love everything about this palette. The colour story, the formula of the mattes and the shimmers were incredible. It wasn't like there was a layer, whereas with the Mimosa palette, it felt like there was a layer that you had to get through before you could actually use the shimmers. But the shimmers are really good in this palette. I do love the highlight because I used a different highlight in this palette. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I will see you soon. Bye guys.